been in the losers class again. You'd think being as ugly as you are, you'd at least be a little bit brainy. But you're not. Why aren't you saying anything? Are you scared? No, but you should be. No one punches me and gets away with it. Look at you. You pathetic little girl. You look like you're about to pee your pants. You two girls OK? Yeah, we're great, thanks, sir. Bethany? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Can I borrow you for a moment? Why? Nothing to worry about. See you around. Yeah. What are you doing here? I told you I'd come in first day back dinner. I didn't think you actually would. Well, I am glad you came in, Mr. Windus. And after what you told me. What's he told you? About Lauren and her mates and that they've made your life hell. They already know that. Does it make any difference? Uh, we are very proud of our anti-bullying policy. We have a zero-tolerance approach. Well, it's clearly not working, is it? It's not that simple. All right, well, I'll make it simple for you, shall I? Either this Lauren and her mates are dealt with, or you'll be getting a little call from a solicitor friend of mine, and you can talk to her all about this useless anti-bullying policy. I don't appreciate threatening behaviour, Mr Windus. Well, you know what, neither does Bethany. But she has to put up with threats every day at this school. So sort it out, yeah? Well, I will. Worse. Have you heard anything from her? Text her out. Good. Now, you can't just keep suffering in silence. People like that have got to learn they can't get away with it. Yeah, I know, but... But nothing. I'm not having them little skanks upset you anymore. <laughs> right, come on, chips are on me. Um, no, I'm all right, thanks. Who turns down free chips? Grand's me my tea. I'll see you in the gym tomorrow, though. All right, you're on. Are you getting any more stupid sex, you let me know, yeah? Hey, up. Hey, up. Hey, up.